What's going on guys? Today we're going to be starting a brand new series on data structures and algorithms. So we're going to be starting off with data structures, uh, the definition, and here's a one liner uh, simplified version of that. Different ways of sorting data on your computer. Now, and click into this now we've all used data structures before we use arrays graphs and hashing there's no doubt uh, that data structures are very important we all know the importance of storing data uh, to display information that we could see but what what really gets people or what really confuses people is the algorithm part of it okay and so what are algorithms all right here's a, some types of algorithms that you might seen before but let me see when you figure out how to get to your school you are using an algorithm when you discern the most effective way to baking a cake you are using an algorithm in computer any non-trivial software uses algorithms to get work done algorithms are why you are able to write code in the first place they are used to maintain parse trees and memory for the programming language you use that call to sort you may use in python on a list is an algorithm implemented for practical easy everyday use your computer right now is using a paging algorithm to maintain virtual memory algorithms are the core of computer science Abstract data structures are two data structures are two. Don't get me wrong, but remember, even those are built using algorithms. In fact, there's a, a great book or a, a great equation. That's what they Algor algorithms plus data structures equals programs. And I'll leave a link in the, in, in the description below for that book. Um, it's a very old book, but it's very true. Um, uh, but yeah, algorithms plus data structures equal programs. Now here are the types. I hope you you looked at these. Here are some types of algorithms that we use in daily basis: divide and conquer, bit algorithm, search and sorting. Search and sorting is very common. Obviously, you like we've done any if any programming whatsoever. You use search and sorting, dynamic programming, mathematical. Um, I mean, there's lots. Let me go to the next one. Here's here's the reasons why we should use algorithms. Runtime analysis, you want it fast. The sorting, shortest path, approximate algorithms, random algorithms, and compression of data. We've, these are the most common ones or reasons why you should actually be using algorithms. Now, here are the algorithms we're gonna be learning in this series. The FizzBuzz is very common one. Uh, harmless ransom notes. Oh, and by the way, I didn't even say, but the ones in yellow and data structures, those are the ones that we're going to be uh, learning because those are the ones, those are mostly the ones that uh, when you're going for a job interview or something like that, they're asked. I have no idea. I honestly, me, myself personally, have never used a binary search tree or a, well, yeah, binary search tree or binary tree, but they've always asked me that. Out of the three jobs that I've had, two of them did ask for binary search trees and, uh, I've never used it once during that time when I was working with them, but they're the most common ones that they, I'm pretty sure you already know arrays and graph. Those are pretty easy. The stacks and queues, very easy. It's just linked lists, binary search trees and hashing. Those are the most, um, the ones that people get confused on. And that's why I'm going to go over these. Now for the algorithms that we're going to be learning, these are common for, uh, interviews as well. The fist buzz, very, very popular, or it used to be, I don't know about now. Uh, harmless, ransom note, palindrome, uh, Caesar cipher. I mean, these are all ones we're going to be doing, especially the max stock profit. Those, if you're applying for a bank or uh, something, you know, to do with banks with money, you might want to look into that one. Uh, that's going to be very helpful. They, they've they asked me, I applied to three of them, didn't get into one of them, uh, but all three of them did ask me for the max stock profit, which is basically they give you a an array of numbers and tell you from where would have I bought this stock and where would I and where could have I sell it to get the max profit. 
Um, but yeah, these are the algorithms that we're going to be learning. And I don't even know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 12, 13, 14 algorithms we're going to be learning and coding up. So that's what this series is going to be about, guys. And I hope you enjoy the series. Wow. And you learn something as as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave it a thumbs up if you like. If you you if you're interested in the series and leave a comment down below as well, please. And consider subscribing if you haven't. Thanks.